A successful event can be a great way to get fully funded in 2023. Events are one of the best avenues for sharing stories of lives changed and for challenging donors with opportunities to be involved in efforts beyond what they're exposed to on a daily basis. There's four keys to getting fully funded using events and I'm going to share those with you now. Stay tuned. In the late 1990s, I helped run a dinner event in Raleigh, North Carolina. It was a powerful event with several inspirational messages of how lives were changed as a result of the work of the organization. Giving at the event was strong, but one envelope really caught my attention. On the outside was written $1,000 and then scratched out and replaced with $10,000. Now we don't normally see that much of a difference in giving and weren't sure if that was legitimate or not. To our delight, the couple who filled out that envelope hung around long after the event ended, just talking with friends. In a free moment, we asked for a clarification of the envelope. The wife provided the answer we were looking for. My husband had originally written a thousand, but I leaned over and said to him, Oh, please, you spent more than that on drugs and alcohol in college before this organization helped you change your life. Give them a real gift. We all got a good laugh from that. But I was struck by just how powerful an event like this could be. It highlighted the problem that existed, shared methods for change, and used real-life stories of people who were changed through the organization much as the donor had been changed. He saw himself in every one of those college students who shared their story and he and his wife decided to pay it forward so that future lives could be changed. The event brought alignment to the mission and motivated people to make sacrificial financial gifts to help further the plans of the organization. Events like that and stories of donors who gave out of a heart and passion for the cause led me to invest a greater part of the next 30 years doing events just like that. As mentioned, there are four keys to getting fully funded using events in 2023. They are as follows. Key number one, align to the problem and mission. Any good proposal or funding opportunity includes an understanding and recognition that a problem exists. One of the biggest mistakes made in development fundraising is a failure to recognize and address that a problem exists. Nonprofit leaders tend to assume that people know a problem exists or takes it for granted that donors will see that a problem exists and either gloss over an explanation or never include an explanation in a proposal or during an event program. I've used the example that I spent 30 years in one of the most affluent counties in the U.S., Fairfax County, Virginia, suburban Washington, D.C. Sadly, I never knew there was a homeless problem in the county until the leader of a community food pantry pointed out the statistics and showed me where I could find the homeless. I was shocked and quite frankly, quite ashamed of myself. Recognition that a problem exists doesn't need to take 30 20 or even 10 minutes to explain. If done properly, it can take three minutes or less. From there, a connection needs to be established between the problem and the mission of the organization. Most nonprofit organizations were started and exist to solve a problem. I'll bet yours is the same way. This connection between the problem and the mission adds validity and credibility to the work of your organization. Establishing credibility is vital to the success of any proposal or funding opportunity presented at an event. Knowing that people know you can solve a problem is so important. Key number two, express appreciation. An event is one of the best avenues to share genuine appreciation to past, present, and future donors. Other than in an individual call or visit, nothing allows you to express personal appreciation like an event. A great tragedy in our world today is that people have lost the art of appreciation. In our attempts to be high tech, we've lost the high touch. Thank yous are generally form letters or emails or text. 
Genuine warmth and appreciation no longer gets out to people because donors have become a dollar sign or a number. Part of this is a lack of understanding when donors say, oh, I don't need to be thanked or my reward is in heaven. Both of those are true. But in reality, people love to be thanked. At a minimum, a personal thank you lets people know their gift was received and recognized. But also, being thanked and appreciated is very flattering, and so are words of affirmation. In a 2018 study pre-pandemic, more than one-third of remote workers preferred to be rewarded with written or oral words of affirmation, as does nearly half of the general employee population. An event is a great way for the leader of the nonprofit to stand in front of an audience and acknowledge that our organization might not exist without the generous gifts of individuals like you. And who doesn't want to be recognized for the difference their giving has made in the lives of countless individuals or even very specific individuals? An event done well includes words of appreciation in every major portion of the program. And what if your guest is new to the organization and never given before? Do they ignore these words of appreciation? Not on your life. They tend to appreciate when an organization recognizes the sacrifices made by their friends and colleagues and it makes them want to give. Key number three, offer information and inspiration. There are two kinds of people who attend events, logical givers and emotional givers. Most households have one of each. Logical givers make most of their giving decisions based on logic, facts, figures, and trends. They see their giving as an investment and desire to see a return on that investment. What specifically was changed as a result of their gift? Emotional givers make most of their decisions based on emotion, gut-wrenching, heartstring-tugging stories. Give them a change life story and they won't be able to get their wallet and pocketbook out fast enough. In our household, I'm the emotional giver. My wife, the logical giver. We could go to an event, hear a story of a changed life, and I'm ready to give all our savings. My wife, on the other hand, might, might be known to say, nah, they didn't prove to me why I should give. A successful event has the right balance of output, that's reports of facts and figures, and outcomes, stories of changed lives, typically best told by the individual whose life was changed. Information and inspiration must be sprinkled abundantly throughout the evening. That includes during times with the MC, CEO, during testimonies, and during the main message. Key number four, present a compelling opportunity. No event should be complete without a compelling opportunity. But you'd be surprised at how many organizations don't offer a compelling opportunity or do so with so much complexity or ambiguity that few give financially. A compelling opportunity combines an understanding the problem with the methods of solving the problem and offers a way for someone to make the same or a bigger contribution to the difference made in the lives of one or more individuals. And that's done by showing the impact made through a gift of a certain size. An opportunity presented clearly includes an explanation of how the money will be used, either specifically or generically, and highlights the various ways to give in a concise and basic manner, almost parochially. This means going through the giving envelope clearly so that there's no room for confusion on how to give. Then, most importantly, people are given time to complete their envelopes and no envelope is left uncollected at the end of the night. No basket available as they are going out the door. 99% of all envelopes that leave the room are never sent back in. Following these four keys will ensure that your organization would get fully funded this year. If you've never done an event, consider learning how to do an event by watching the event playlist on this channel or taking a comprehensive course. 
if you're already doing an event, incorporate all these elements into your upcoming program and get fully funded this year. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and add a comment below if there was something that you especially liked. If you're needing help with conducting the Perfect Vision Dinner event, my friends at Fundraising Masterminds offer a course twice a year and it's outstanding. I'll include a link in the description for further information. If you have fundraising questions, submit them on Twitter at Jim W. Dempsey and use the hashtag Jim and Java. On Instagram, also use Jim W. Dempsey or email me at jdempsey0813 at gmail.com. If you wish to join a community of like-minded individuals desiring to change lives worldwide, join our Life Changers community group on Facebook. And if you want to find out what to say and how to say it during a meeting with a major donor, click this video and see your income soar. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded this year. Thank you. See you in the next video.